Revelations of a Contactee Who Restarted the World Several Times and Why? According to many historical maps, the Arctic regions were free of snow and ice for centuries ago, four centuries, teeming with life, and as an example, consider Urbano Monte's 1587 map, and you'll see that our idea of those times is false. How could this be, if modern science claims that the Arctic ice has existed for millions of years? And the Monte map mysteries? The Arctic regions, then free from snow and ice, were divided by rivers into four parts. Now there is an icy desert and the land bridge between Argentina, Chile, Antarctica has been destroyed. The surviving giant, strange people and creatures depicted on Monte's map were driven underground. The map also depicts Antarctica dragons and centaurs, Asian genies, an Asian manticore in a woman's face with a woman's face, a lion's body and scorpion tail, Mongolian unicorns, Aquarius in the southern India Ocean, uh, with a human torso and a sea serpent's tail. Most of today's deserts and snowy regions were once warm and living li lively only three or four centuries ago until the gods, quote unquote, came along and destroyed everything. In 1750, the Industrial Revolution began in Britain, not just like that, but thanks to the Illuminati visitors. After that, British ships and religious fanatics armed the uh, to the teeth was uh, sailed across the sea oceans in order to capture as many territories as possible and turn the world under the rule of their masters. Many nations, people were conquered or destroyed, and the Anglo-Saxon received unique technologies and helped their masters in exchange for world power. The indigenous people of Africa, Asia, Australia and Antarctica offered great resistance to the invaders, he claims, but could not cope with their never-before-seen weapons and firepower, and they had to either submit or be destroyed. What happened in the colonial era is a modern version of what happened in ancient times when uh, people, uh, chosen people conquered pagan tribes on their way through the desert. Now, the invaders not only subjugated and destroyed many nations and people, but also many rare creatures and animals, which they considered to be descended from the Horned One. And the world before the Third Reset, until the last Great Reset, which occurred in the early 19th century and ended with the Seventh Flood, the world looked very different. There were giant trees, people, and mythological creatures, they were destroyed by techno-gods and visitors. They devastated the earth, leaving behind quarries like the Grand Canyon and huge mountains of toxic chemical waste that we now call volcanoes. Some of these quarries quickly became covered with grass and much smaller trees. Australia, the richest and diverse life, was scorched by the bombardment and turned into a desert, as were the Sahara, the Arctic, and Antarctica. And these are the deserts of nuclear winter. However, many of the ancient structures created by the peoples of the earth around the world have survived. Later, they were used as government buildings. The giant humans were destroyed and a new lower and less intelligent breed was genetically introduced into the new world. And it was the main reset, the third one, which uh, what is happening today is an epilogue. The world wars of the last century were necessary to finally destroy the traces of the old world, and after the First World War, Zeppelin airships and a significant amount of free energy remained, but World War II completely cleaned everything up and paved the way for the Orwellian nightmare. Those at the helm have changed history by making us believe in something that never happened and the truth is hidden in old fairy tales and mythology, the writer claims. The person with each reset became physically smaller and dumber, and now they want us to turn into mindless, heartless machines. The New World Order is subordinate to the horned, and they have their own agenda. Fortunately, there are also forces of light, like during the Great Flood, will save at least some of us. We must start with ourselves and not wait for anyone, everyone to change, or the world to change, not to be a fanatic in that area, but soberly, logically look Evaluate our world if everyone does go good for others and at least a little, and not only for loved ones, 
then the world will change and for the better. A person is mistaken or his values have been changed. Wealth is not gold, diamonds and money. And this is on Solask. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.